Hi, I'm Helen Coupland Smith from Time2 Resources. This video will help you to understand how to calculate percentage change. All business and economics qualifications, whatever the level, require you to be confident when handling numbers. We have nine quantitative skills. The ones shown on screen now are those that apply specifically to A level business. I'm going to concentrate on quantitative skill two. Just one aspect of this, how to calculate percentage change. So why is this so useful? This short video will look at why a simple calculation such as percentage change is so useful and how to calculate it. Percentage change allows us to gain marks in examinations across all of the exam skills. It allows us to show knowledge and understanding. You could be asked to calculate percentage change, e.g. a change in price or population change, or to comment on a trend in data presented or as part of an assignment. It also forms part of the more complex calculations such as price elasticity of demand. We can also use percentage change as a route to application. Often an examiner is looking for you to extract and use numbers presented in a case study or extract. Let's assume you are told the number of businesses operating in a specific market has increased from 10 to 15. Often students describe the data i.e. they say it has increased from 10 to 15. This is not demonstrating a skill and is therefore not good enough. A slightly better answer may say that the number has increased by 5, slightly better but still not good enough. A candidate that says the number of businesses in the market has increased by 50% is now demonstrating a quantitative skill and this makes the answer much better so they have calculated percentage change. We can also use this application to support a line of argument so it allows us to develop our analysis. E.g. a student may say, as the number of competitors in the market has increased by 50%, the business may need to look at the actions it could take to maintain market share. This means that, and they would then continue to develop their argument, but they've started with that application of 50% to develop their line of argument. A candidate can also use this to make evaluative comments. It helps show the significance or scale of change. For example, a student may say, this is very important as there has been a significant increase with 50% more businesses operating in the market. So it really is worth practicing how to calculate percentage change. So how do we calculate percentage change? Well, the formula is change over original multiplied by 100 or the difference divided by the original multiplied by 100. Change is the new figure minus the original figure. Let's look at a numerical example. Here we have a box of pasta. The price was 60p, therefore that's the original. The price has now increased to 65p, that's our new price. So first of all, we calculate the change. 65p minus 60p gives us a change of 5p. But remember, that isn't enough to gain application marks in the examination. We need to go one step further to calculate percentage change. So we take the change of 5, divide it by the original of 60 and multiply it by 100. We now have our percentage change of 8.3%. I'm just going to round this to the nearest whole and say it has a percentage increase in price of 8%. You may be asked to express this to one or two decimal places. Just read the exam question carefully to make sure you express your answer in the way that the exam board has asked you to do. So, what are the key points in this short video? Percentage change is a crucial calculation for you to be able to do confidently in exam conditions or in your coursework. Why? Because it allows us to work across the exam skills. Change is the difference between two figures. Percentage change simply expresses this as a percentage. The formula is change over original times 100. And we always express the answer as a percentage. One key thing is this allows us to make evaluative comments by considering the significance of a change that has been made. Thank you for watching and listening to this video. Hopefully you now understand why the ability to calculate percentage change is important and you feel more confident in how to calculate it. If you want to revise all the numerical content within your A-level business, why not check out our handy Know Your Number postcards which are available to buy on eBay. The links are provided in the description box below. 
If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time2Resources YouTube channel? Please like this video.